let's talk about relationships. So apparently, uh, there's Over a you the backdrop. Yeah, go for it. Quavo and Saweetie, Saweetie. Saweetie. They were dating for three years. They dated for a while. He wrote her first couple of hit songs. Oh, she's a performer. Yeah, she's a rapper. He wrote. I didn't know that. He wrote his first. That's all. So I'm here for him. He wrote the first couple of hit songs. Um, he's been heavily involved in her career. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> they released. She released that they were broken up about a week or two ago. She released it on Twitter. I'm single. She said, "I'm single." Um, there's no point in pretending. The gifts and all are fantastic, but the int- the intimacy isn't real when it's shared with others. That was the exact words. And so all the women came. Oh, I feel that and. There, pardon me. There were relationship goals or whatever for a while, and so all the women came out and started bad mouthing Quavo. Da 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 da. Quavo drops a song, said, "Uh, she was a sweet little thing, not a little bit turned out." <clears throat> he says that in a song. We don't know who she's talking. She's a sweet little thing, but she got a little bit turned out. Okay. And so they're saying they're beefing, blah blah blah, and then all of a sudden TMZ releases this video. So this is all. Everybody's already blaming Quavo. He's a cheater. He's abusive, uh, emotionally abusive to her. And so, boom, this video comes out. All right. There's no audio doc, so just watch it. Oh, I saw this video actually today, ironically. And then the rest of his parents are just staying in the elevator now until they get back up to the original floor. Cause and if you look at it. if you look at the box, it's a Call of Duty box. Oh, that is a yeah. gamer. It's a it's it's his games. It's his games. His games, game console. And then in the original, game, yeah. the original video footage that was released, they didn't. The first part where she swings at him isn't captured because of the the frame rate or the framework. Or yeah, whatever. I'm doing it right now. You can kind of see right here, like boom, the arm goes back and then throws swings it. At swings at. You see her swings. She cocked back and then swings. I don't know if it landed or not. No, she she missed quite well. I made the joke yeah, that he, it didn't look like it didn't look like a punch. It looked like a tire claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she probably would have did some damage with those nails. But the funny he thing pulled is, back. yeah, he pulled back quick. So ask me, well, watch the video and tell me what you guys see. What do you mean? I just seem like they're fighting over. She's trying to, she, what I see is a woman upset with her man and she's releasing, unfortunately, I mean, that frustration out physically. Exactly. Yeah. And it's through, he's trying to clearly through here, take his Xbox <laughs> while also trying to hit him and grab on him. And he's just not having it and just wants his stuff and gets dragged into the into the uh, elevator and pushes her off him, and then the elevator shuts and he's stuck in there with her. That's what I see. Now, let the whole video play out. I mean, no, I mean, that's the, the last part of the video. Then I want to hear Doc what Doc sees. Oh. Doc, what do you see? Yeah, I see the, the swipe, and then he kind of goes in there. He's fighting more so over the boxes than fighting her. He's trying to get control of the boxes most instead of like get control of her, and she ends up just kind of throwing herself off to the side. She gets hurt. Yeah, and it looked like she kind of yeah, I agree with that. Like she threw herself for a off. minute. She stays on the ground, and it's yeah, on the end of the video. She stays on the ground the whole Dude, time this, until this part is weird, man, because the door opens and there's a guy there, and he's just like, "What the fuck?" And then he, <laughs> he doesn't walk. I want to walk in here. They're like, "Y'all got some. Y'all got something going on here." I'm yeah. staying out of this. Well, she's probably crying on the ground. And he's just like, "Shit, what the." Fuck? Now the funniest part was where is it? Where he right here? Where he actually looks up and he notices and the, the camera. camera. Yeah, look. Look at that head. He's like, he's like, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, <laughs> because I, I, I'm, I, yeah. That's exactly what he was thinking. That's exactly what he was thinking. And then she gets up at the end of the video and walks out. Yeah. Then they finally get up to the original floor where they had their little fight, and then <laughs> taking her sweet time getting up though, being dramatic, and then a little limp. That uh, she caused. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it like she's like that's her fault. Okay, so right now, everybody, a lot. There are a few celebrity men who've come out to defend Quavo. It's a losing battle. Why would? But they? everybody, the consensus of this video was this was this is a video. We just watched a video of him abusing her, physically. Oh no way! I disagree with that. That's completely. literally yeah, what's going too. on right now. He didn't abuse her. What What was the abusive part? That would be my question. And so everybody went to the video, and now there's like an anti. Small contingency of, I was expecting to see him punching WWE her. WWE, like and, an aggressive ass push, if not punching her. Like there's some pushes men do. Where it's like, bro, you did you put the little oomph behind that push. You didn't need to do all that. So with context, she threw a punch at him first. Saw it. Yep. She had his belongings. Yep. Which we know because she doesn't play Call of Duty. Well, do we know that? I don't know that. She does not Twitch stream. 
So as far as we know through that. She didn't play Call of Duty. And if she has Call of Duty, plays Call of Duty, she probably wouldn't have that version in box set. Or she'd have a little bit of respect for the console, I would argue. <laughs> like, you just don't do that. And then you, you just know it's games because it's the Call of Duty box and a book bag. That book bag, the way that book bag look, it just looked like a universal. I'm putting the rest of the shit that don't fit in the console box in the book bag. Controllers, games, wires, everything is in that bag. My issue with this is we're very, I don't know if the word is strict, but we have no problem addressing when men lose it in a relationship and then point it out and say, this is bad, don't do this. Like the bad characteristics men have when it comes to their involvement in relationships. Mm-hmm. What about women? Clearly, there are so many instances in that video where it's like she was mad at him, and she expressed that anger in all the wrong ways. But we don't address it. Like, hmm. I don't want to go on a rant here, but women have no problems when they get mad with a man in a relationship hitting him. At all, there's no problem in their mind that laying the hand on him. I'm angry with you, so therefore I'm justified in hitting you. Like, why is that okay for women? But I don't. I, don't, I gotta find a way to. Cause it's not okay for men. I don't mean in that way. It's just. It's not okay for both parties. Yeah. It's, and then, it's, okay. <laughs> so the, I just want to share some of the, the some of and the, then trying to take his things to get back at him too. Like, oh, you made me mad, so I'm gonna take your Xbox and do God knows what you can imagine with blah blah blah. It's like <laughs> they said Solange on the way to beat Quavo's ass. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then somebody said, hey, you can't be mad at Quavo. He didn't want no violence. He just wanted to secure the loadout. <laughs> hey, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's funny. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> you can see it in his face, too, man, in the video where he's just like, oh, man. Like, yeah. Okay. When he looked at, like, yeah. Fuck, like, come Boosie on. Done came out, Boosie came out and said, Quavo did not abuse Salty. Look at the video. I agree with Trouble. She lost the tug of war. <laughs> No, I really feel like her goal the entire time was to get him on the elevator. Mm -hmm. To embarrass him and get him on the elevator. Cause she I feel like she knew there's a camera. Everyone knows there's cameras on elevators. Like, I just see her knows. as toxic. It's I see her as toxic now. I feel like she a, she's knowingly knowing she knows that video is it come out, first off. There's been plenty of opportunities for her to come out and say, Okay, guys, we're working on this internally or not even just the video, about the relationship. The way she put it out was the way she ended the relationship was to embarrass him. The intimacy isn't when you share it with everybody else. Da, da, da. She wanted women to come and say, hey, girl, you're powerful. You're da 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 And this, I'm not going to lie, this may be a little bit more bias showing. She went to the peanut gallery. She, he's already written hits for her. You owe a large portion of your success to your career to Quavo. Okay? So now you have a platform. Now you get big. Now you, nece you don't necessarily need him to keep existing. Now, the leverage is, well, what can I do on my own? And in my opinion, she tries to get the women, the women, like, and I'm not even talking about this video. I'm talking about just period with the, with the way she came out, like, oh, he cheated. Da, da, da. She wants the clout from the damaged woman clout, the cheated on woman yeah. clout. And so when this video comes out, she knows, she knows, she knows she could say something about this. I'm curious what the fight was about. Uh, I feel like I, that's some context we had. We should, whatever happens, she, she gives tried more to leave time with to the fucking games than he does her. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. About it. Or he escapes her bullshit from, like, through the games. You know what I mean? Like, if he's having trouble with her and stuff like that, he's just like, I'm just going to play these games because everything's okay here. I'm not going to deal with this crap. So she's attacking what's probably the source of uh, exactly. his, expa his escapism. And she wouldn't take it if it wasn't that. It. She I wouldn't take have, the like, games if it wasn't important. With that, though. Like, cause, How much so, attention do you want? Yeah, it, it's it's an attention thing where it's just like, okay, so like part of the curtain zeitgeist and, you know, the vibes in, I guess, in our country, I don't know if we're all around the world, but it's like men are shit, right? So like they're just pigs. All they want to do is, you know, sleep with women. And it's like, cool. Okay, so uh, if I'm naturally bad, then I need to take that uh, sexual drive and put it somewhere else. So I'll play video games. Oh, now you're mad that like I'm doing this more than if I like happen to have a woman and I'm doing this I'm more. Doing what you, you know want? What I mean? And it's just like it's confusing. Like, what the fuck do we do? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, how do I win? How I've been I actually win? hearing some stuff like that. Or like I was seeing a some uh, polls that were being taken that like men are. are not dating as much anymore and they're choosing just to play video games 
I mean, that tests our little friend group a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I mean, for one, I don't want to get, you know, grows corona, but like, <laughs> but it's just like, dude, like, I, I don't know if in 20 years I'll be accused of raping somebody. Like, fuck, man, I'm tippy-toeing. Like, it's weird. I thought I'd be okay from that, you know, just being a general, genuine person. But now I'm not too sure because it's just like people might misconstrue a post from 20 years ago or or misconstrue your simple gesture of putting your hand on a girl's back to help her guide through the bar when it's crowded and a bunch of guys are trying to yeah get yeah but see that's kind of what that's kind of my uh my thing where it's like i genuinely think chivalry is like on a fucking last heartbeat um i think it's dead it's it's going to lead into something like this where the, the rise of feminism and transgenderism is starting to blur the line. Because the whole point, like I've said before, was that chivalry was um, a code of ethics for men because women were perceived to be frail. So if that's no longer the case, then we're going to see <laughs> more men lash out against women and people are going to be like, hey, this is equal. Like you're meeting me on my level, like in this form, then we're gonna meet on this level, and so it's gonna start Shaking to yourself. to blur and it. And it's interesting you say that because I've, we've addressed this before. I feel like on a previous podcast, I think, and that is, and I think even Jordan Pearson addressed in one of his uh, uh, discussions is when there's an underlying aggression when it comes to uh, men dynamics. Whenever guys are talking or or strangers or friends. You're talking about my punch in the face theory. Exactly. Like, there's always that knowing that somewhere in this conversation, if it goes south, we're fighting. And if women want to be viewed on equal terms as men, you got to accept that that's a dynamic that you're putting yourself in amongst men, that we always address each other with the assumption that if I don't show you mutual respect off the get-go, we might fight. And it's, it's a cake-and-eat-it thing, too, because it's like, that probably I, sounds I, I, no, bad, no, 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 I mean. no. You're right, though. It's a kick and eat it thing too, because like, as girls, they learn men shouldn't hit women, right? So they keep that rule. Yes. But then, everywhere else, we're equal. So it's like that's the line that Doc's talking about getting blurred. It's, yeah. it's definitely going to get blurred. Yeah. But the snake has to eat itself. I it also has to. I also think that like not all women are against the the traditional chivalry. roles like some people some women like the idea that you know chivalry is a thing you know what i mean they like I'll it i'll be honest with you and so the i'll be honest with you i've opened the door for a bitch man damn near jump my bones right there <laughs> if she like it it's on no, and popping you don't actually, have to do much i've had the opposite effect because i do that i've i've when i go on dates I actually try to open up the doors, the car doors, Same. the restaurant doors. Like, I try to open up the doors. I've actually been made fun of for doing that. Yeah, please. So I stopped doing it. On a date for real, bro? Yeah. Well, not on, a, not, not on the date itself. Um, it was after the fact the girl was saying, you actually do that, blah, blah, blah. And so like, that's kind of weird, blah, blah, blah. And she, I forgot what she was saying specifically. I just remember her addressing it and me being like, wow, okay, well, then I guess I'm going to stop Did you pay for that. the food? Of course I did. Did she have a problem with that? No, she didn't. Okay. But the, but the thing I want to get to is – that's happened to me. That's why I stopped doing it. And then I had an interaction where I, because I didn't do it, a girl actually brought up to me. You're not going to open my door for me? Oh, shit. I, yeah. I, I, I thought. They want both. Yeah. yeah it's, it's really confusing. They want to be able to critique, especially they want to be able to critique people whichever you do. People. Like, that's it. Because I, I honestly, like, my, my natural way of doing, of doing it is not to open the door. Like, I'm just going to be like, yeah, you're, you got yours. Like, you got it. You're fine. Yeah. But, I mean, living with my sister, my sister would be like, you little fucking bastard like you need to learn some manners like open the door for girls and stuff like that I'm like, okay cool so i got it trained into me and it from there like it does cause confusion because you can't uh-huh. figure out what you want to do i think honestly you the just got my rule is not is to rush all kinds of mess my rule is not to rush so like if the door and you are too close and i'm not gonna make it i'm not gonna rush to make it but if I beat you to the door, I'm not gonna close it in front of you. I'm not gonna I do lie, do though. this it's thing where I open the door. When she like just stops at the door and, and waits for like, you to oh, open shit. it. She got a little class. This is, little yeah, little. I was like, this is my turn. Like, I was like, damn, she set me up. Like, it's kind of, I find Ooh, it kind of attractive. No, it low key is like that's why when the girl who got mad at me for not opening the door, I actually found that attractive. It, th- it threw me off. Like, she checked me to the point. Where it's like, oh snap. And that's the opportunity for an excellent dad joke. What she's supposed to do is when she stands, stops in front of the door, you get behind her and wait in line. <laughs> like we were waiting for somebody to open the door together, right? That's what I'm playing. But nah, I'm trying to tell you when you women. Do some shit like that, <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, when women like that shit, they like it. But 
I don't know how to explain it, but it's just they want their cake and they want to eat it too. So yes. if they can complain about it, they'll complain about it. We're just the inferior right now. We just have to. We're, the only way we get it back is by force, and it sounds crazy, but men are just literally going to have to not be forceful and um intact, but forceful and um well, I was about to say, wait, in their in their expression okay, of themselves. I, say, I would argue that's Kevin Samuels. A hundred percent. Because I heard I of th- Kevin Samuels, and he was interesting, and I. Some, I don't disagree with a lot of the stuff he says, but I do disagree with the, the way, way he goes about getting 100%. the point across. I just find it too combative, too confrontational, too forceful, like you say. Mm-hmm. And he's, he hides behind the notion of, I'm just speaking the truth. It was like, yeah. you can speak the truth. But there's some aggression. But there's some, yeah, it's like you got a, like a past that you're low-key letting leak a little bit. Got heart broke. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel that. I, I think the clash is just gonna happen, man. Like videos like these are gonna come out. Like it's like you said, like if women get comfortable being like, "Oh, they can't fight back," and they just keep leaking, and men keep re- showing the recordings and stuff like that, then eventually, a group of people will be like, "Hey, we're taking it too far." But this is what's and, funny with women: they have this ability to look at this and not see what happened, and that's what I'm scared about. Because women are looking at the same video and saying this is abuse. So what do we do with that impasse? We can't explain that. Look at the video. I really don't know where the abuse is, honestly. Yeah. That's I, I, I say, how do I have the conversation? He's himself back. I agree. Most men are holding themselves back in that situation. Why, Gene? Because it's irritating to deal with that. Someone in your face yelling at you, putting their hands on you. As a, like, as a man, that is extremely triggering. Like, don't put your hands on me. Don't get in my personal space. Like, what would you do imagine if, you if another man did that to you. You're instantly fighting. If a woman did you can see it in his eyes, dude. You can see the conflict of like, I can't get to you, but I, so I'm gonna get to the object that I'm trying to protect. And even when she goes down and he's just looking at her, you can see him. He's just like, I can't. He didn't do touch anything her. in this situation except just like let you be you. Mm-hmm. Right. He now. didn't touch and her. And he's yeah. I think you're absolutely right, and I think that be you. We saw. I think the most revealing be you part was her staying on the ground. She was trying to take advantage of the situation. She was turn to Peter Griffin. She realized in the moment that he. Retaliated. We're all- <laughs> <laughs> Man, Money! Dude, he, dude, he he probably looked at that other guy in the elevator and just had these eyes like, "Save me, bro!" Like, get me I was just trying. Right. I looked at him just and did this me, like, bro. "Like, what do you want to do, bro?" Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, she on the floor. Like, my Xbox. Honestly speaking, too, as uh, normally when people. When people have been in the spotlight for a long time and they don't have anything similar like that on their record or anything like that, I normally try and give them a little bit of benefit of the doubt. And the reason why I say that is he looked up at the camera, but he wasn't surprised. And it, so he it was, it was felt a moment just of coming a, back to reality. Like he in the moment, it was, I guess, a bunch of. But he never lost his cool either. So like it says that this might be my bias, but I believe right. men are gr- grown up with the being taught how to control themselves. Even though some people disagree, but more so toward our anger. Mm-hmm. Men are, well, maybe I speak for myself. When I was raised, I was reared to control yourself when it comes to your anger, because I do have some anger problems. I'm not gonna lie, and I had to grow up and learn how to deal with that. And I feel like that's pretty universal when it comes to men, because we are we are more prone to violence. We are. Hence why I said it earlier, how when it comes to the di- di- uh, di- dialogue between men, there's that underlying notion of this might break we into a fight. fight. Mm-hmm. Men are raised more so than girls are to control themselves. Mm-hmm. It's the anger just, part, like you said. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No, you're absolutely right. And I just think the part when she stayed on the ground, she knew how it would look. Like, the 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 the... Him doing what he did in front of camera, and I feel like he he went in that elevator with a sense of, like, I know I'm not wrong. Like, I don't care how this looks. I mean, he wasn't doing anything wrong anyway. You get what I'm saying? But he was like, I, there was a, almost like a confidence, like, and I'm not going to touch. Me, everything he did, other than, like, touch her, which you don't want to touch anybody just because it looks well, bad on camera. But he couldn't help it. He was trying to retrieve his items. He was being robbed. What is, what is he supposed to do then? My question then is, we got to end it soon. It's already past an hour. But my question then is, if a woman is literally beating you, mm-hmm. what are you supposed to do? I'm not asking, like, do I get to let lay hands? Or like, like, genuinely speaking, when I'm in a situation with a woman and she is with all her might and will laying hands on me, what do I do then as a man in your view? 
and I'm not speaking to you. I mean, I mean to the people no. out there. There's no proper like, answer. What, like, what do I do? There's no proper answer. Because I can't you're hit her, about... obviously, because men can't hit girls, and I do agree with that to a, to an extent. There's nothing you can do. But then, how do I defend myself? There's she's nothing you can beating do. me. There's nothing you can she's, do. She's or she's stealing from there's me. There's nothing you can like, do. Like, what do I do? The reason there's nothing you can do is because it's unpredictable. Because you have one person using all of their might. When you have one person, I don't care what all their might is. Your reaction to that, all their there's just no predicting what's going to happen. So she's using all her might. If I dodge, she may trip and hit herself. She may fall and hit her head. Well, that clearly what happened in the video. Like she was using all her might to get that Xbox from his hands, and, and that's when you get hurt, spitting and tumbling, and she clearly. So there's no proper to situation for a man to be in like that, and that's why I said it sucks. Isn't that a because, problem? Yes, and that's why I said it sucks for him because he knew he 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 basically said I have to walk up to this line knowing how it's gonna look with me walking up to this line and walk back. That line being, we are going to be in a physical tussle, but I'm not going to harm her. I'm not going to touch her. He didn't even look like he cursed or yelled at her. His mouth wasn't even moving aggressively. It was a blurred video. You can't really tell. But no, he I mean, like, but body to, like, to the degree that she was probably yelling. Nobody's cursing at somebody and just yeah. nonchalantly in the elevator looking around. I'm cursing you. I'm, you stupid. You. I'm looking at you. And none of that was taking place. Meaning he had to make those decisions. He was making sound decisions the whole time. One person was not in that elevator. I think that's the only that's the truth right there. You just got to make sound decisions. Because I'll be honest, like in my training, like um, since I do like uh, kickboxing and all that stuff, I've sparred against women, and I've been beaten to shit by women too that are just far better than me. Um, but I've, I've also wrestled women. Yeah. yeah, like I sometimes I've also gone against women that I'm just like I have complete power. Like I just I know I could just do whatever I want. You know what I mean? Um, I've also been in certain sparring situations where the woman's more aggressive than I am. And she's kind of in, antagonizing me to be more aggressive because she wants more out of the situation. Cause it, it's a, it's a, it's a weird setting because you're both trying to get better at what you want to do. And if the other person's holding back um, and you're trying to get better, and especially if you notice that they're holding back against you, um, you, you want them to, to come out more. And um so like usually going up against girls, um, I still have that mentality of like, I shouldn't do this. So I kind of take more time and caution to fill my way into it. And then, um, yeah, sometimes you just fight like really aggressive women who are just like, oh, okay, cool. Like we can go out and stuff like that. But you definitely have to stay sound in the entire situation and just kind of do your best to walk you through it. Because just to go with the same experience, like I remember this person was like, why are you hitting so light? Like, well, come on, come on. Like I'm trying to like do learn this i'm trying to practice and i was like oh like i'm actually doing this service to you so i went harder and then i rocked her leg and she was like hey my leg's done like please stop and i was like oh okay <laughs> and like there's just like a a dynamic in it but um Which even though the other person's kind of other. losing it or they're trying to draw more out of you you just have to stay sound and that's kind of it absolutely absolutely and i think that's dope too what you just said was actually a healthy example of it mm -hmm. because you're both you're trying to help her like you're trying to help her and you're not trying to insult her you're trying to grow together so you're allowing her that warrior's respect there's some room for understanding for for even if you accidentally hit her too hard there's room for understanding based on the context of i'm trying to help you yeah yo so thanks for watching a clip of fdt if you like what you heard be sure to subscribe like the clip leave a comment and check out our page for more content tune into full episodes of fdt Released every Friday on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify. Peace.